here's what I thought. If Jeff came down and did some Stars trivia, we might knock out a poser or two that might be here just trying to... You know how some people, they're a little late to the party? Well, this is this is Dallas Stars trivia for oh. Dallas Stars fans. Uh-oh. This isn't the average... Okay, now, here's the good news. If all of you get your question wrong, you're all still in the game. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, wow, okay. Yes. Yeah, now, you said, posers. are these the Star Power? or what? Are, what is yeah, the, these are the Star Power DLP Super Seats. They're big, comfortable recliners, great view of the game, fantastic seats. Which, by the way... Last home game went into four overtimes. You had better be in a recliner. <laughs> those two people, those two people could have rented out those seats for thousands of dollars exactly. for, for overtime. Who did the Stars acquire from Pittsburgh in a trade for Kevin Hatcher in 1996? I'll give you a hint. Some consider this the biggest <clears throat> steal, the biggest deal that the Stars ever got away with. They kind of like stole this player from Pittsburgh because mm-hmm. Kevin Hatcher was kind of a, a spare. Mondo Mike. <sighs> Mondo Mike? Mondo Mike? Yes. Is it Mondo Mike? No, oh, it is not Mondo man. Mike. James, man. All right, the correct answer? Sergey Zuba. I was going to say Sergey Zuba. Zuba! What are the three retired jersey numbers in Stars history? The three retired jersey numbers in come, Stars come, history. Come on, you've been, at the, you've been at the game. You see them up there. They hang in the rafters, man. Yeah, y- y- come know. on, just visualize it. I'm not asking you the names, just the numbers. Somewhere between 1 and 99. Oh, boy. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Take a guess. He doesn't know. Uh, three. Say three. Okay, three. Mm. Wrong. Sorry. Here we go. <laughs> well, I, can I take a... Yeah. Mondo, you want to give it a try? Uh, well, Neil Broughton... Yeah, number 10, right? Was he number 10? No, that's Brendan Morrow. He's yeah, our Brendan Morrow. Uh, Neil, Bro- uh, Neil Broughton, you're right. Number seven, Neil Broughton. Gump. Gump. Forrest. The, no, not uh, he was the goalie. You're thinking of Gump Worlds? No, no, yeah, no, Gump no, Worlds. No, 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 no. He, they didn't retire his. Number eight, Bill Goldsworthy. Goldsworthy. Oh, yeah, Goldsworthy. Mondo. And, yeah. and number 19, Bill Masterton. Masterton. Okay. They named a trophy after him. That's All right. right. Here All we right. go. What's your name? Danny. Danny. What's up, Danny? You look like you mean business, man. <laughs> I'm ready. All right. Where are you from? Texas. Well, awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome, Dan. <laughs> For our syndicated listeners. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Danny. What number? With five. five. Number five. Right, right, oh, this one's an easy one for Danny. Who was the captain of the Stars their first season in Dallas? Who was the captain of the Stars their first season in Dallas? How about where did they move from before they got here? <laughs> See, you could have made up your own questions. No, no, it no. Been a lot better. <laughs> hey, listen, I figured let's bring in the pro. Mine would have been really easy. So, I don't know. Uh, let's just say Madonna. Madonna? <laughs> Oh, yeah. no. Uh, Mondo? Brett Hull? No. It was Neil Broughton either? <laughs> no. No, no, no. no. Mark Tenorti. Mark Tenorti. <laughs> of course. Everybody knew that. I that could, guinea? Again, don't go far. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Who was the last to wear number nine for the Stars organization before Mike Madonna? Oh, my God. Before <laughs> Mike Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> this is back before. This is when they were in Minnesota. Yeah, this is a North Stars question. We should have talked before this segment, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Holy mackerel. Um, but this is good. Your listeners are learning. Yeah, they We're are. trying to educate the masses. People like Dean need to learn this stuff. Yeah, he does. Well, that's yeah, so I boring. I know all of this. Yeah. I have no clue. No, no clue. clue. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It was Denny Marouk, of course. Denny oh, Denny Marouk? Of course. Oh, Denny, oh, Denny oh, Marouk. Power oh, forward oh. from Poughkeepsie. Who was the Stars' backup goalie the year they won the Cup in 99? Eddie Belfour was their starting goalie. Who was the backup? I don't know. I'm going to go with Turco. Oh, he's so close. So close. Anybody? Mondo? Wait, wait, wait. wait. I think Devin knows. That'd be Roman Turek. Roman Turek. Oh, that's right. Turek. I forgot about that. You had the first syllable right. That that helps. Turek, not Turco. Which NHL player holds the record for most game-winning goals in a single playoff season? Game-winning goals in the playoffs Mm. holds the record for the most. In the NHL, not just the Stars. History. Yes, in the in the history of the NHL, mm. holds the record. Is it a long drive back to Savannah? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I better get started. <laughs> Say nah. somebody. Yeah, think of an anybody. Ameri- an and remember, American this player. is this is Dallas Stars trivia. Yeah. yeah. So keep that in mind. Dallas well, Stars, American player, it narrows s- it down a little bit. I'll say Mike a lot of Madonna, goals. Mike Madonna. No. no. Well, no. at least you came up with a name. No, it's uh, Brad Richards. Yeah. Oh. He scored seven game winners on his way to the Cup in 2004 with Tampa Bay. I would have yeah. said Brett Hall. You should have picked the white guy. 
Oh, wait. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you name the four head coaches in <laughs> Dallas Stars history. Oh, I'm hosed. Oh, come on. I come know. on, shot, Brandon. Come on, you got the current. You got the one that was before here that looked like uh, Captain Kangaroo or whatever. <laughs> He did. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, I have no idea. Oh, dude, you oh, really don't goodness. deserve to be at the game. You get, I wouldn't you, even accepted like two of them, you know? Even the current head coach? I, don't know. Oh. I, was, I was really doing this more for my friend who, oh, okay. who when I was broke, he took me out and uh, we he bought me dinner and oh. went to the game. And stuff. Oh, that's great, but man, yeah. why don't you work for Make a Wish? <laughs> <laughs> Which Dallas Stars player is considered the DJ responsible for music in the locker room? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Macarena. Mm. I they say had some fights in the past. Mm. Remember when there was? Oh, yeah. She's yeah. really, really close. What, she what said, she, she say? said Mike Ribeiro. And the winner is the correct answer is Steve Ott. Oh, Steve Ott. Oh, wow. really oh, Otter. Oh, yeah. Steve Ott. Oh, yeah. Steve Ott. Oh. Had originally asked you to name the two sets of brothers that have played for the Dallas Stars, but if you can name one, name one set of brothers that have played for the Dallas Stars, and we'll accept just a last name. Okay. Uh, I, my answer again: the Jonas Brothers. No, uh, no. <laughs> um, I, Canadian name? Anything? Jasmine just mentioned his name. Oops. See oh, if you were I paying attention, Rock. but you're, but you're like most people, you tune her out. Yes. Hey, Brockton. <laughs> what, what did you say? Brockton. What? What? Brockton. what? Brockton. Yes, she got it. Yeah, yeah, Darian and Kevin Hatcher is well. good. Does. See, Mondo, now, Mondo's got one. Darian and Kevin Hatcher and Neil and Paul Broughton. Yeah. Everyone's going to hate her because they're like, look, throw the question. We'll all be back in the contest. Now, this guy was actually at the four overtime game the other night. What's your name? Scott. Scott. Did so you Scott. enjoy that win? I sure did. All right. If you if you were at that game, please <laughs> show us what Stars fans can do. Pick Thank a number. You. What numbers are left, Jack? Uh, two, four, nine, or ten. Come on, Scott. Which one's easy? <laughs> well, apparently, apparently none of them. Eleven. Uh, t- <laughs> ten. Number ten. All right. Ah, who is Brendan Morrow's famous father-in-law? Oh, that's Keith Carbona. Yeah. 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 Look at that! Ooh, 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 oh. ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Happy times. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Hockey times. See, when you look back on this Jagger, you're gonna have wanted yes, it whittled down to just two. Okay. See?